Good morning everyone. Welcome to our channel on Horticultural Trade Arts. Horticultural Trade Arts means uh, the different ways in which uh, ornamental plants and flowers are traded in the market. Uh, you can uh, commercialize them and sell them. And our first uh, lesson for today is bonsai making. So what makes bonsai very special? What is a bonsai? Bon means a shallow container, which we are going to, I'm going to show you while, while afterwards. And then sai means plant. So literally it means planting in a shallow this pot or a shallow container. But it is a form of art which is based on trees growing in the wild. So we look at the trees growing in the wild, then get a piece of it and replicate it in a shallow day spot. The essence of bonsai is the evocation of the spirit of nature in a miniature landscape. We have these different bonsai styles. And the first uh, are based on the characteristic and angle of the trunk. So this is the trunk of uh, the main trunk of the bonsai plant. Okay, so you can have the formal upright, then we have the informal upright, then we have the semi cascading, like this one. This, uh, it will be trained later as semi cascading, and then the semi cascading in which the tip of the uh, plant is be below the rim of the container. Then we have the slanting, the broom type. For multiple trunks style, we have the double trunk and the tree trunk. And for the group planting, we have the forest landscape in which you have several plants depicting a forest. So when you uh, grow them, the nearer plants will have to be the bigger ones because as in nature, you are going to see them bigger at the, the nearer then at the distance they are already the smaller so that is how they are going to be planted in a forest landscape then in the clump as if they are just together growing side by side so trees and a raft or straight line which you have trees that are a little bit thin okay then we have over also root over rock so this root over rock is a special means of doing bonsai in which the plants are rooted first in rock so you need the uh, a wooden box then you put the uh, put little soil and they grow, grow your trees there and then when it is already rooted then you can remove the box the wooden box and then uh, continue culturing it like a, another bonsai but it will be uh, placed in a bonsai pot just the same okay and then we have the wind swept or literati now these trees are usually uh, found in areas where there is constant wind so most of the leaves or and the, the branches are swept in one direction where the wind blows that's why it is called the wind swept so we go to the materials you see here in the table several materials you will need if you are going to make a bonsai so the first material you have a shallow this pot it's a shallow this pot for a semi cascading and this is the one we're going to use for uh, our bonsai for today then you can also have this uh, heavy glaze pot for several plants and this shallow container for your bonsai. You will need these small hand tools that will aid you in planting. And then you have the copper wire for training, wiring the bonsai. You have a training shear and uh, of course your scissor. You have the wire cutter, then you have a chopstick or dibble to fix the roots when you are going to start planting. This is a soft broom to clean the dust in the leaves and also in the container. Of 
course, you need your planting material. And then we need the finishing touch, which is the sphagnum moss. And then we need the growing media. The first layer will be the gravel. And then the second layer will be your soil. Okay. So after knowing the characteristics, the different materials that you will need, what's important is selecting the plants to have some pointers here. Like for instance, the form of the trunk. Like this one, if you are going to have a cascade uh, or a semi-cascading arrangement, then you choose uh, something which are with pliant stem. Also need the, the thickness of the trunk at the base. And good view of the trunk lines, very important. The bark should be with texture and color and weathered appearance just like an old tree. It will add to the maturity of uh, the bonsai plant. A good trunk will narrow towards the tip. Now for the branches and twigs, you, the plant that you should select should have numerous branches and uh, leaves that are small. It grows also upward just like in a tree. It has to have a balanced appearance also and should be wider at the base and narrow tapering to the uh, tip of the container is for the characteristic of the branches and twigs. How about the root size and length? In an old tree, we'll notice that the roots are exposed already on the ground. So you have to choose plants with exposed roots as much as possible. That will give an impression of maturity, the age, because the older the bonsai, the better it is. And it also gives stability for a shrub or a tree. So you can have a shrub or a tree for your plant, but you remember the form of the trunk, the characteristics of the branches and twigs for your selection. Then the exposed root should spread in several directions in the container as in the wild okay so the you always look at the tree in the wild and then duplicate it in your bonsai material and the plant size is also very crucial now the smaller your plant the smaller also the container it should be proportionate and uh, the bigger the, your plant the bigger also the container you will use and the design and style that you're going to use for your bonsai like for instance if you have a forest uh, bonsai then you should have a bigger one because you are going to accommodate several plants to have a forest landscape is usually in groups of at numbers like five seven or eleven never in uh, in even numbers for big heavy trees and shrubs should be with heavy pots also and place pots. Now we are now ready to start planting our bonsai. A selection of the appropriate container and then select the plant that you'd like to grow. For this particular demonstration we make use of a two-year-old juniper cypress from cuttings. Next is we have now to remove the plant from the container but uh, before that we can start already preparing our container by putting the gravel so what is the use of the gravel the gravel is used for grenades so we use for grenades and then next you can have our plant or your soil growing media. Okay, now we have to remove already our plant. Uh, I forgot to uh, mention a while back you need an atomizer for watering. So this is after you have planted already. So the next is to remove our plant from the container okay now as I have mentioned a while ago you have to check on the root system so we have to remove all the soil making use of your dibble 
to make it faster so we will see the exposed roots I'm going to check on the root system because it has a bearing on the uh, maturity of the plant there you'll find that there are many uh, fibrous roots but we need to check on the big roots which are here or there can you see that one oh, yeah. there are some big roots already being exposed so after we remove all of this we're going to remove at least a part of uh, the roots one third of the root system and then put it in the growing media spread it and we will see the root system and because this is just a two-year-old tree so the bigger root is only this one so before we thought, uh, plant it, we have to start trimming already. But to trim, remove those that are unwanted. Okay. So how do you select those uh, branches that are to be removed? Okay. Those that are crisscrossing, because in an old tree usually they have this appearance, okay, like pyramidal. So those that are very close together, we have to remove them. And those that are crisscrossing. So the, the first, this one, you can do it this way. And then here, okay, we alternate. We try to make it as old as possible. So how do you do that? So we remove some of the branches and then we wire it later. Making use of the copper wire and this one. Now, uh, the bigger your twigs or branches, the thicker should be your copper wire. So when it is small, do not attempt to make use of uh, a big copper wire because your branches will break. Okay, how do you look at it now? Is it becoming uh, older? Got the, did you see it uh, before I did the trimming? So that you can uh, see the difference after we have trimmed. Because if there are so many branches that are close together, it looks juvenile. But we would like to make it uh, age. To look like an old tree in the wild. Okay? Now, in planting, you will notice I am putting it off center. It should not be placed exactly in the center of the container if it is only one. So it should be placed off center. Then we try to spread the roots again and we will see. No, because uh, we have to check on the root system very well. some more of the soil right. Here. Okay. we wire the branches first okay so we are ready for the wiring 
have to measure the length of uh, the stem that you're going to wire. So, here, start with this one, and then a little bit, so we cut. From here, you uncut it here in the main trunk, and then do it clockwise and do it gently because if it is broken then you cannot put it back okay. and then you can bend it here already gently also bend it down I do the same I'm going here Do it gently, clockwise. Okay. Yeah, we have here. We anchor it in the main trunk, and then put it in the twig or the branch. We're going to. Uh, train clockwise there okay and it's easy to bend already put it uh, one more here To be very patient in doing this if you are training the plant okay then we have one more probably this one and it's okay ito kasi maraming ano it has plenty of leaves so we have to do it like this it will still grow and but still with this characteristic we are still on the training stage it will train okay. and we like to do it this way so here we have one more this side that's why you cannot make a bonsai overnight because it will take any trimming training and uh, taking care of the plant so that it will look like a bonsai an old tree that is there in the wild now we would like this one to really grow like this so how do we do it we can anchor the plant here in the container and then we can also add some more wire so we can bend it further here okay now since the copper wire is not uh, big enough so we can double it okay then bend it gently down down there I like it to be cascading there see the difference now okay now we are ready to plant and then another big root here we add some more soil 
We are adding. You can use the table to make it a little bit compact. That's the old root. No, the other one there. Yeah, so we have to expose it. going to expose that big root we can uh, already add the sphagnum moss okay if you have the sheet moss at least better if you do not have the sheet moss you can have the sphagnum moss to cover the soil yeah okay this case we are going to show the old root the big roots here here on this side we have one big root this is the big root here this portion here so we are going to expose it but then Can, we can see the old root here in this portion. There. Characteristic or a cascading one. Then we can put something to hold it in place. So what is the one that you're going to put it in place? You can have the copper wire. Wire. <laughs> Tie it here in the, the pot. Okay. So until such time that it can uh, hold itself already without this one then you can remove this okay see it yeah if you have a sheet moss it's better to make use of the sheet moss so uh, it will really be clean okay so after putting the pagnum moss the next you're going to do is water All right so water with the use of the atomizer is uh, the inside. Okay. It's temporarily it will look this way but later when it is already established then you can remove all of the copper wire already. So how do you know whether you are going to remove the copper wire? It has already maintained its position. Okay or the copper wire has already been outgrown by the trunk so sometimes the trunk is already here showing it is embedded already in the copper wire so water very well especially that we have removed it from the pot the soil is a little bit dry. We have already done the adjustment, selecting the front view. This is the front view. Okay, so you can select the front view here, the side view. So any view should be nice to look at. Or we can remove it. 
<laughs> yeah. And let us see what is the best. We can add some wire. I put it here. Or you like to you like to expose the trunk. We can remove it. Okay. So that the main trunk can be seen. Okay. Okay, you can already see the main trunk here. Okay. How to care after Okay, so after planting and putting the sheet of sphagnum moss as a finishing touch, uh, water with the use of the sprinkler or atomizer. Um, so we have or actually wired it already for support. The wire, the wire is already here. And then water regularly. How do you what? How often are you going to water? At least three times a week at least uh, now you are supposed to put your bonsai in a partial shade for it to recover okay so how do you know that your bonsai is recovering it will have a new growth okay so you know that uh, you have placed your copper wire up to here then if it extends up to there then it is going then, then okay now the trimming wiring of the bonsai is a continuous process because you cannot make a bonsai overnight and the technique i showed you is just an eye opener for you to improve your creativity in making a bonsai because it's just one style you can have the other styles of bonsai if you wish but this one is uh, like there is a movement no there's a movement because the branches are going down although if you are going to have the slanting there's also a movement so in nature most of juniper cypress are creeping it is in nature but uh, there are some of them that can also grow taller so you can get a part of that nature here in this small container so you can have now a juniper plant in a small container on your own side so look it up in all the different uh, sites if you like how it will look later but you can always continue training and trimming your bonsai so you will see that most of those who are growing bonsai are already are already old because it's part of their hobby and also you know that gardening or growing some plants is therapeutic there is a th therapy meaning that they uh, have joy in doing it and also it is a st st stress reliever so see those or they pass their time in pruning their bonsai and then of course because they do not like to be uh, stressed while doing it so they do it slowly slowly and they have uh, a small container um, materials for or tools sorry, for trimming and training them until they will grow old okay so that ends our lecture for today until next uh, lesson <laughs> <laughs> thank you for joining us